Kampuchea Krom is the region variously known as Southern Vietnam, Nam Bo, and the former French Cochin China. Bordering present-day Cambodia, the region is positioned in Cambodian nationalist mythology as a once integral part of the Khmer Kingdom that was colonized by France as Cochin China in the mid-19th century, then was ceded to Vietnam in June 1949. In the present day, the region roughly corresponds to the Mekong Delta region of Vietnam. Kampuchea Krom continues to be home to many ethnic Khmer Krom, with some Khmer estimating their numbers to be between 7 million and over 10 million. Territorial History In a Khmer Buddhist monk's vision, the Khmer have inhabited the land of Kampuchea Krom since it first emerged from the ocean thousands of years ago as a fragrant and glowing land that attracted the Teovada, celestial beings who ate the sweet earth and were subsequently unable to fly back to their world, thus staying on earth as the first humans. Throughout history, the area known in Khmer as Kampuchea Krom has been situated within numerous ancient polities, including Nokur Phnom, Hunan, Chenma, and the Khmer Empire. Ancient Civilizations Archaeological research at the OCEO site between Rach Gia and Long Xi'an in present South Vietnam dates Vietnamese incursion in the region to the 16th century, prior to which the area was located within the ancient Khmer Empire. There is no clear consensus on the ethnic makeup of those living within the region during the earlier Phnom and Chen localities. Linguistic evidence from the period, by way of inscriptions, supports the theory that inhabitants spoke a pre-Khmer Austronesian language. However, archaeologists and historians also contend that this language may have been similar to Khmer, and that a version of Old Khmer may have been used by the end of the Hunan period. A further theory is that ethnic distribution within the region may have varied with elevation within the landscape, with Khmer speakers living on higher ground, and Malayo-Polynesian and later Vietnamese speakers occupying the lower-lying areas. 17th, 19th century Vietnamese expansion. The period spanning the 17th to 19th centuries saw an unprecedented expansion of the Vietnamese state into Kampuchea Krom. Historian Barbara Andaya identifies Vietnamese internal feuding and the Tran Nguyen Civil War of the early 17th century as motivating the dispersal of the Vietnamese population into Khmer speaking areas. In particular, Khmer sources note that Vietnamese immigrants flooded into the regions of Prang Nokur, known as the present-day Ho Chi Minh City, Baria, and Don Nghe, Kampong Sroka Tre, following requests by Vietnamese missionaries to King Che Chetha, 1618-1628. Following the fall of the Ming Dynasty in the mid-17th century, Ming loyalists began to migrate across East and Southeast Asia, including towards Kampuchea Krom. Historian Claudine Ong argues that this migration of Ming loyalists into the Mekong Delta, or Kampuchea Krom, and their alliance with the southern Vietnamese rather than the Khmer or the Siamese, gave the Nguyen lords of the southern Vietnamese state the support that they needed to lay claims on the Delta lands, enabling the aggressive southward territorial expansion of the Nguyen lords in the mid-18th century. However, it was only after the 1809 death of Mac Tu Tain, whose father Mac Q had arrived in Kampuchea Krom after leaving China following the fall of the Ming Dynasty, that the Vietnamese state incorporated the Ha Tien Principality into Vietnamese administrative control. Prior to Mac Tu Tain's death, Ha Tien had been an autonomous principality. Through the incorporation of Ha Tien, the Nguyen dynasty thus further extended their borders amidst a period of tense regional competition involving the Siamese, Vietnamese, and Khmer. 
This period of unprecedented southward territorial expansion was cited by the Geelong Emperor to the Qing court in its request for the Vietnamese state to be recognized by the term Nam Yu rather than Annam, a request that ultimately resulted in its current name of Vietnam or Vietnam. See, Mekong Delta History, Vietnamese Period. Historian David Chandler argues that further long-term effects of Vietnamese southward territorial expansion into Kampucha Krom included, 1. Cambodia being cut off to a large extent from maritime access to the outside world, 2. The removal of large portions of territory and tens of thousands of ethnic Khmer from Cambodian jurisdiction, and 3. The placement of Cambodia in a vice between its two powerful neighbors of Siam and Vietnam.